Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. I got a kit here that was gifted to me just the other day um, by a very special person, and that would be my wife. Uh, we're at Walmart uh, of all places, and uh, you know, every now and then they'll have uh, they'll have a model display there, and this was on an island display, and I uh, got to looking around and seeing this one. Been wanting this kit for a while, and uh, I was sitting there looking at it, and uh, she's like, "Man, I I don't know that you'd be able to find that one." Uh, here, that probably wanted to go pretty quick. Uh, she said, you like that? And I said, definitely. She said, I'll get it for you. So um, here it is on the bench. Uh, honey, thank you. I love it. Appreciate it. And uh, I love you. Thank you very much. And uh, so guys, we're just going to take this open. I know there's been, uh, I know there's been other videos on this, but um, I, I've not, I've not seen this first. I've actually had one of these kits uh, on the bench. Uh, I say I've looked one looked at one uh you know like in the hobby store and stuff like that but uh never had it so we're going to dig into this thing right now and uh say try not to take up too much time i say that all the time don't i uh, yeah that's a funny one but anyway no i'm not going to try to take up too much time on this i just want to uh open it up here and see what we got uh see it in person i know i've seen other videos on this a couple comparisons and things but um I just want to do this here on the channel. Get this thing. You know what? That's not the best. That's more of a, like a scribing knife. Let's get this one over here. There we go. Go back around there again. Come on. There we go. That's it. All right that out of the road uh so we'll just walk around the box here first try to avoid some of that glare uh 68 coronet convertible rt uh authentic dodge scat pack decal it says there uh good little trailer it's kind of funny i tell you one reason i really like this kit was actually for this trailer uh because we had a trailer at one point in time that uh, really looked a lot like this i think it was more like of a homemade type deal but um uh this one here and I don't know if that's what this is to depict, but uh, but anyway, it looked a lot like this. And uh, yeah, right there. Uh, we actually named it. We called it Spunky. Why do we do that? Don't know. Couldn't tell you, but we did. Anyways, uh, so I really like the trailer in that kit. And then one of these, of course, you don't see this Dodge uh, body style convertible uh, very often either. So at least I haven't. Uh, so then here on the end, basically same as the top. And then your side here, 440 engine stock and racing versions plus clear bubble hood scoop. I uh, got stock and custom uh, seats there, buckets. Two different uh, engine options there. I'm sure just one one block, uh, one engine set, but uh, it looks like an automatic too. And then uh, stock and custom wheels. And then there's got some trailer mirrors and custom grill. And then here's your, your bottom uh, layout there, like they do. And this kit, 418.23. So it's really a new kit just this year. So, uh, well, we're going to stop looking at the bottom of the box and get into into the box. It feels like it's pretty pretty stuffed, too. That's kind of cool. So they live back here. All right, what do we got here? Oh, that's interesting. They didn't put the body in a plastic. But, wow, I tell you what. Some good sturdy plastic, actually. Nice. Nice detail underneath there. The RT emblem there on the back. Detail that up really nice. This is the body and chassis. The glass, and of course, I'll leave this in the bag. I did see another review one time on this. It's kind of interesting. These lights. Looks like domes uh, lights for like an emergency vehicle of some kind. So I don't know about that, but there's your windshield. There's a little chrome here. There's your, there's your towing mirrors. Some jacks. Jack stands. Get that where you can make sure you can see that too. That's what I'm doing. 
Guys, I've done all these videos yet, and just, I still struggle working around this camera sometimes. So, all right, let's open the uh, kind of box sideways. Let's open this bag up. Let's see what we got here. All right, seat with seat belts molded in. I kind of like that. That's cool. Door panels. Pretty rich. That uh, uh, armrest there is nice and extends nice from the... Well, how about you get it back in the light, huh? Extends, what I was going to say, extends nice from the side panel there. So that's that's nice and crisp. Looks good. Then here's your... There's your convertible boot there. And then your engine. Yeah, that's an automatic. The old 727. Air cleaner. Just all your engine parts there. Manifold heads. Nice. And I'll take some exhaust pipes. See, like header plates there, probably. Not sure. It would look like axle pins, but I don't know. I'm not going to speculate. And then I like a drive shaft loop and distributor. Looks cool. Keep the respective parts with that bag there. Yes, yeah, it is the first I've actually had a chance to see this thing up close and personal like this inside. I'm going to do it with you guys. Okay, look, okay, this is your trailer parts here you got a floor jack there's your trailer hitch for the car trailer sides and your trailer floor got the tongue all molded in one piece there toolbox gas cans there's your tra uh, floor jack handle and this that almost looks uh, really similar to the jack that they had in the old uh, Dodge Warlock. I think it was a Dodge Warlock kit. had one of those. Looks kind of similar to that. There's your trailer springs. Oh, man, you could kind of use them to convert to a little gas or something, too, if you wanted to. But I'll definitely use it for the trailer. There's that one. Now, I guess this on the box says, and I... I struggled to figure this out at first because I knew this kit was around back in the day uh, but it says on the box on the front all new tooling um, and I wasn't sure why but I did I did find out on another video um, muscle car modeler I think there uh, Raul was doing one on this and said something about possibly a uh, a uh, a tooling alteration that they did uh, on that to possibly make a hard top or something I don't I'm not 100% sure have to go back and watch it again but uh ch basically changed that up so they ended up having to do the the brand new tooling again to reissue this kit so that was kind of interesting there here's your firewall like maybe some uh axle block or inserts there possibly and then your front seats and there you go again with molded in seat belts that's really cool i like that dash that rally dash there steering wheel seat backs and you can tell it's all it is a new tool man everything's nice and crisp a little bit of flash in spots but you know overall that's one thing i want to go back and look at on the body i didn't look at close enough any kind of mold lines um from here i'm not seeing too much guys it looks pretty clean got the chrysler star down there the rt molded right in the fender Get it back where you can see it. There you go. I got to look through the camera. 68. Love it. Those little side marker lights. And this was the light. Had the light package apparently. Got the turn signals on the top of the fender. But yeah, uh, guys, mold's really clean. I'm seeing very little parting lines. Got some right there where they commonly are. Uh, but outside of that, yeah, the body looks clean. So we've seen that one. And then... Uh, choice of two hoods there here's your differential with your uh, drive shaft that's very reminiscent of how they did the uh, a lot of them on the monogram kits 
I know the, the GTX, Superbird, uh, Super B kits all had it in this style. Battery. Radiator support. There's your, more of your mufflers there and uh, tailpipes. Radiator top there. Hood scoop. All right, that's looking pretty good. And honestly, guys, not a whole lot of parts trees really for that for this kit. Set this one on out of the way here. I'm gonna make a mess of everything before it's over. All right, chrome tree. Let's take a look at this. Okay, that's nice shiny chrome. There's your would be your factory grill right there with the RT in it. Console insert. There's a custom grill. Some header pipes. I didn't actually look to see if that's the only uh, exhaust that there is. I'll have to go back and look at that real quick. There's uh, bumpers. Again, nice, nice chrome on that. There's a custom intake there. And then would be two sets of wheels. Not bad. Looks pretty good. I'm going to go back here again, guys. I'm going to see if there was any other exhaust options or if those are your... I, did, I didn't see. Knocking everything over on the bench. I just want to see... I happen to miss it, maybe. Yeah. Yes, I did. Yep, there's your... Pardon, me, pardon all that digging. Uh, yeah, there's factory manifolds here. So, yep, I did miss them. So there's your... Uh, those are your custom... Custom exhaust there. Headers. All right. Let's look at the... Instructions. Uh, yeah, let's... Uh, Let's take a look at the instructions first, and then we'll look at the decals. All right, there's 68 Coronet convertible. Haul it. And then it gives you a couple of drawings there of what you can build up out of that engine. That's for your injection engine there. Engine stock. Wheel assembly, tires. Yeah, there's axle pins. That's what those were. And you got a metal axle for the back. Be a fun kit to build. Old NPC from back in the day, so to so to say. There's your trailer towing mirrors. Don't know if I would use those if I'd build the trailer. It may be actually for a different application, so I don't know if I would put those on there or not. Uh, but. And there's your interior. And then, of course, see your trailer assembly there on the back with your gas can, your jack, toolbox, jack stands. And then there's your decal placement. And let's take, oh, here's your bag of tires. You got some white walls. And then some, I think, some no name slicks. But uh, they are stiff. So, just bag of tires there. And let's look at the decals. Keep from slicing them up here. All right, let's take a look at these. Oh, yeah. Nice. Run with the Dodge Scat Pack. The cars with the Bubble Bee Stripes. Gone Elf Performance Inc. And then your Dodge Scat Pack there. That's cool. Show MPC. I like when they do this. No MPC logo there. And then you got a Scat Pack license plate. 268 license plates. Super stock 440 Magnum for all your racing. And then look here. They actually do give you Super B stripes. Look at that. 
which this is just being advertised as a, and I guess that was part of the original thing that it had changed because the original box, I guess, said Coronet or a Super B convertible. So that's one difference, but they give you actually stripes for the Super B. Interesting. And then they give you some uh, flower power here and they kind of inserted the uh, uh, car products on it. It's STP, Hurst, Valvoline, and the like. So your uh, stripes down here. So uh, looks good. Colors nice and rich on that. Um, very well made decals these days. They've really come a long way. Oh, look at that. There you go. There's your uh, gauge decals. So that is cool. I love when they do that. And then just all your other. There's no oh, look at their two MPC logos. Sweet. Love it. Love when they do that. All right, guys, uh, I know this has been kind of quick, uh, but I want to clear the bench up here just a little bit, and uh, I'll be right back and close it out. All right, guys, I got that mess straightened up here. Uh, one thing I did want to say real quick, though, too, uh, it feels like this has like a just a ton, a ton, a ton of parts in there. And really, as you've seen, there's not that many parts in it, honestly, uh, with this kit. But I think what it is, uh, look, at this, look at this sprue on here. Uh, this reminds me of what these new uh, Revell kits are like. Just this plastic is very sturdy on it. Uh, this body feels really, really, I mean, really rigid. Uh, and uh, I, that's really awesome because I don't I don't know that the plastic back in the day would have been that sturdy. I, mean, I, I don't know. I could, I could be wrong. Uh, a, lot, a lot of the old AMT was. But anyway, just what it reminds me of. I guess I'll just say that and uh, and that's probably all I'll say about that. But uh yeah uh glad i got this uh it's nice uh definitely be on the plan for building sometime uh i'm sure no more this year but uh, it'll be in the stash for when i'm ready uh get that old uh that old mopar itch again and uh, which i do on occasion so uh we'll have one to throw together there so all right guys that's going to close it out for this one i say just wanted to do a quick box open uh review on that give you uh, my take on it uh, looks really good. Uh, very little, I say very little parting lines. A flash is very minimal on it. So uh, should be a fun kit to build when it's done and really excited about that trailer. So uh, with that guys, uh, I got plenty of shop cards. Anybody wants a shop card, uh, uh, you can find my information in my channel description or the description of this video uh, and I can get one, I can get one out to you. Uh, if you want to swap shop cards, let me know that. We'll, we'll get them swapped out. Uh, so that's all I got guys. Um, thank you subscribers. Appreciate it. And uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And again, like I said, like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. Uh, this is Eric from Eric's Model Garage. You guys have a great day. God bless you and happy modeling.